Hello, this is Steve, back with another mining video. Today what I have for you is Gigabyte. These are 1070 Ti's. I bought two of these and we're going to see how they perform. Let me show you the cards. They're rather long. In comparison, here is a. This is an XLR8. And this gigabyte card is probably two inches longer. No lights. These don't have back plates. I got this running on my uh, test rig here. It's just an old uh, AMD motherboard. Let's go ahead and see how these Gigabyte cards uh, perform. Okay, before we uh, test out these cards, we need to get a an idle wattage. So the system's idle right now consuming about 52 watts. We'll go ahead and write that down. That way we can take and subtract out the power for the, uh, the motherboard and the system so that we can figure out exactly how many watts the cards are using. So I'll write down the 52 watts. Now let's get a baseline of the cards. I'm going to go ahead and run them and we'll see what kind of mega hash they're getting right out of the box with Ethereum and then we'll also see how many souls we're getting with Zcash. After that, I'll go ahead and use MSI Afterburner to overclock the cards and see what they can do. So we'll start with Ethereum. Let's see if I can zoom in here. I'm hoping everyone can see this. Help if I plug in the Ethernet cable. I'm wondering how these will perform with the Micron memory. I was hoping for a Samsung memory. Okay, there we go. Uh, 26.5. 26.5. Alright, let's try Zcash. Ooh, 180 watts right now. Got 482 on one and 471 souls on the other one. Let's let it cycle one more time. Okay, there we go. So we're going to say about 475. So on Zcash, 475 souls and 180 watts. 80 watts. Okay, so that's our baseline. Let's go ahead and start it up. MSI Afterburner, get this down here so we can see it. And we're going to give, let's see, the power limit, we're going to set it 70. Core clock, let's put it at 150. And the memory, let's try 700. And we'll try Ethereum. Looks like the one card didn't. Oh, that's why. They synchronized both. Okay, at that setting, 150 core clock, 700 memory. They're doing about 31.8. So 70 power, 150 core, 700 memory. Getting 31, 31.8. Okay, let's push the uh, core clock. Okay, let's push the core clock 
to 800. And we never did check the power. Power is... No. Looks like I didn't like that 800. Let's go 750. Let's restart the miner. Get some artifacts there. It doesn't like 750 either. Let's go 7, 725. Probably gonna have to reboot. There we go. 725, let's start again. So we're running 725 on the memory clock. Still 150 on the core. Power's at 70. Thirty-two point one. One of the cards. There we go. Thirty-two point one. Let's just say 32. So 70% power, 150 on the core, 725 on the memory. We're getting 31 mega hash on Ethereum. I want to try giving it a little bit more power. So one of the cards is running at 32, the other one's at 31.6. There we go, 32 on both cards. So at 80% power, 150 clock, 725 core. Doesn't look like it's stable there. And let's see how much power we're using. So right now, we're using 350, 358 watts. Let's figure out the what each card's using here. Got 358. We'll take out our 52 watts. Divide that by two. 153 watts. Let's see if we can get that better. Let's change this power down to 60. See what happens. Oh, look at that. So I moved the power limit down to 60. And we're getting 31 and a half on one of them and 32 on the other one. And let's look at the power now. So 270, 278. So we got 278 minus 52, it's 226, we'll divide that by 2, 113 watts. Wow, that's impressive. Let's try power at 60, 65. I'm going to restart the miner, I'm getting some artifacting there. I'm going to go, I'm also going to, yeah, see if we get it back. I'm going to have to reboot here. I'm going to change this power limit. I'm going to go down to about 710. First, let me reboot. Huh. Yeah, still getting some artifacting. Let's go down to 710. 700 is what I heard is where these cards like to be at. Uh, let's do 65 for the power. Keep the core at 150. Start this up again. Okay, just did a reboot. So our power is 65, the core is 150, and the memory is 710. So we've got 31.7 on one and 31.9 on the other. Let's let it cycle one more time. So we have 31.9 on both cards. Let's look at the power usage. So, 297. So 
So 122 watts. I'd say the sweet spot for Ethereum on these gigabyte cards would be 60 for the power limit, 150. We didn't play with the uh, core clock that much. 150 on the core clock, 710 on the memory. We got almost 32 mega hash at 113 watts per card. Not too dang bad. And I'm looking at the how hot they're getting. They're staying staying at 62 Celsius. And we've also got a uh, an eight card uh, mining rig blowing hot air on it. So 62, 63 Celsius. It's not too bad. So let's try uh, let's try Zcash. All right, for Zcash, we'll start at the power limit at 80. We'll put the core down to. Uh, not the core. We'll put the memory down to 600, and we'll, we'll see if we can get 200 out of the core. All right, let's try some Z cache. 600 memory. Oh wow! Wow! So 535 souls and 144 watts each. 144 on one of them, 148 on the other. Let's see what happens on the next cycle here. Okay, 536 souls and 527 on the other, 146 watts. That's incredible. Let's see what the next cycle says. We'll do five, we'll say 530. Let's drop the power down to 70. Let's see what happens. 506 souls, 127 watts. So just over 500. Look at that souls per watt, four. I've never seen any over four. So let's see. So at 70%, uh, 200 core. 600 memory, we got 100 and, let's say 128 watts and 500 souls. Let's see if, if we put up the memory clock, we'll put it up to 700, see if that changes anything. Nope, we killed it. Let's, let's put it down to 400. Let's see if we can let's see if we can push the core up to 220. So 501. So you guys decide. I probably run these at 75. Let's try 75. 75 on the power, and uh, we'll leave everything the same. 220 on the core. I probably run the cards right about there. That's me. I like having the low wattage. For 16 more watts, you can get 530 souls. There's five, there's 517 right there. 517. That's a 75 power limit. So I'd probably go 75 on the power, 220 on the core, 400 on the memory. Make these cards perform pretty well. Let's try one last thing just for fun. Let's give this 100%. Go to 100 on the power. Yeah, so I want 100, 100 on the power. It's using... Didn't like that. Okay. So my setting is I want to go any, any higher than 80. I want to go any higher than 80 on the power. So let's just look at this with a 220 core. 80 on the power limit, 220 core, 600 memory. We'll let it cycle one more time. Yeah, I like that setting. So my recommended setting, 
is 80% power limit, 220 core, and 600 on the memory. It's going to give you about 145 watts power usage for each card and about 530 souls. Pretty dang nice card. And one of the cool things, 66 degrees Celsius. So we had 530 souls uh, using 145 watts on Zcash. And our best Ethereum was power limit at 60, 150 on the core, and 710 on the memory. Got us 32 mega hash and used 113 watts. Not too bad. All right, guys, if you like the video, go ahead and leave a comment. Give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And let me know what you think about these 1070 Ti's from Gigabyte. This is Steve. Thanks for watching.